Genius. You better take, think about what you're trying to do to me. How old is she? She's 10, but her voice is going on 30, honey. Think, 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 let yourself be free. How many albums have you had? Four. And no hits. I need you to focus and avoid frivolous distractions. Honey, find the songs that move you. Until you do that, you ain't going nowhere. After Dream Girls, like everyone said, what would be my ideal role, you know, coming off of that to play after starting, you know, with something as big as that? And I said, the only thing I feel could top that would be to play Aretha Franklin. And I don't know if she heard me or if she had that same thing in mind, but right after I won my Oscar for Dream Girls, she wanted to meet me. And it was in New York. It was now, what, maybe 15 years ago? We sat down and we talked about me playing her. And she told me I was very shy. And I was like, she's like, are you shy or something? And I'm like, well, I am sitting here talking to Miss Aretha Franklin. And another thing she said, you're gonna win an Oscar for playing me, right? And I was like, well, I, 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 you know, I was overwhelmed speaking to Aretha Franklin about playing her. But that was like the very early stages. When I look back at my career, I'm like, but it's like, Aretha was like the blueprint of it all when I look at it. When I auditioned for American Idol, I sang Share Your Love With Me. When I went on American Idol tour, I did Since You've Been Gone by Aretha Franklin. And again, I paid tribute to this woman I don't know how many times. Everyone respects Aretha Franklin, right? You know, we know her as this icon and this legend and, I mean, the queen of soul. But my goal, I was like, I want the film is called Respect, but when people leave this film and see it, I want them to have a newfound respect for Aretha, you know? And I being one of them, after going through the process of developing the character, learning about her, um, her as a person, as well as an icon, as well as an artist, you know, it, you can't help but to find and have a newfound respect for her. Lisa is an actor's director, and what I mean by that is, I love how she incorporates the actor. She um, approaches you almost like an actor, which is necessary and allows you to breathe. But at the same time, as a director, she steps in with that vision and she's so passionate about that vision and very focused on it. And I love that she's a woman at the same time, you know, so she gets the mission. Well, when you grow up in church singing the way Aretha and I did, you know, you learn to sing from a, a with a purpose, with substance to a higher calling such as God. So it, it's a completely different thing than just a simple song, you know? And it, it, it creates a, a, a sacred connection and comfort. Well, you know what? I think overall what gave Aretha her strength was her faith in God, and which her father was a minister, you know? So I feel like a lot of that came from being brought up in the church. And that's something that she always kept near and dear to herself. Same as myself, I feel like I understand it as well. And of course, family is the root of that as well, but I feel as though her faith in God is what got her through life. She's a part of the movement, the civil rights era, and she got to minister to the people, and she became a voice and an advocate of those things. And the music supported that and vice versa, and the people, which I think, help made her as impactful as she is still to this day. This is first of all my third time working with Forrest Whitaker. This is the third time he's played my father. And you can never get used to his calm spirit. Like he just, but well, he's one of my absolute favorite actors that I respect so much. So just to have him there is like, wow. And to see him channel CL it felt very real. Marlon is a comedian, you know, everybody's used to him joking. But to see him take on such a strong, defiant, aggressive, serious role blew me away. For me, I, my only goal overall is to meet Ms. Franklin's request. She gave me an assignment. She said, it is you, Jennifer, I want you to play me. And I knew what she, what her wishes were. And so I felt that, so this was the best way to, you know, achieve that and to honor that.